How did that make you feel? I was upset, obviously. But who wouldn't be? Hello, babe. Hey, I was just wondering what you're doing tonight. I'm going for a drink with Steve and some of the guys out the office. Only Steve's confirmed at the minute, though, so it's kind of all in the wind. Oh, right. That's fine. I was just wondering if you wanted to do something, but never mind. You can come along if you want. No, no, it's fine. I'll just see you another day. Honestly, it's you fine. can come out with us. It's no trouble. More the merrier. Don't worry about it. I'll go out with the girls. Oh, um, OK, babe. Well, I'll see you a bit later. I love you. Fine. Love you. Please don't stop the music. Did you hear about Adam and Jade? No. What's happening now? I heard him having a little row on the phone. I just sat in the toilet and I heard it all. What happened? Jade wanted to see him and Adam's going out, so her and Sarah are meeting us here. Speak of the devils. Hi, Hi girls. Hi. Hi. Two strawberry mojitos, two passion rum punch, please. Are we sharing the two for one or are we getting our own drinks? How pissed do you want to get? Oh, oh. Christ on my head in today. So I'll take two Long Island iced teas and a shot of tequila. And don't forget the lime and the salt. Make it four shots of tequila. Um, can my shot be apple sorge, please? Oh, you're <laughs> let down. <laughs> Why are you so quiet, Jid? Nothing. I know just mugged me off for Steve and it's got right on my nerves, that's all. I'll forget about him and get a cocktail. Can I have four side chick martinis, please? Bloody hell, yeah. babe! <laughs> no, I'm getting drunk and I'm enjoying myself. I don't care what he thinks. Are you comfortable with her being out with her group of friends? Of course I am. Why wouldn't I be? They're all lovely girls and I know they wouldn't let anything bad happen to her. I just take my top off. No, <laughs> It's so easy. Just like putting on them puppy dog eyes and asking them to carry your shopping. Don't you feel bad though? Not at all. It's all men want is sex. So I may as well give it to him and get him to do the stuff I don't want to do. This is how I do it. I start by putting my hand on his leg, then slowly sliding it up. And I just look at him and I give him that face. That's the real secret. I might try that next time. What, what are you on about? You don't have a fella. I'm not going to be single forever, am I? You'll be all right. Just keep swiping right on Tinder and Bumble. You'll find someone eventually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rich, come to the toilet with me, please. Those drinks have gone straight to my head. <sighs> you all right, hun? Yeah, it's just Adam. He's just checking up on me. I thought he was out with Steve. Yeah, he is. He's just making sure I'm okay. How I'm getting home. How are you getting home? I'm going to meet Adam and then we're going to get a taxi together. So we'll be going in a bit. Oh, don't go yet. Stay for a few more drinks and we'll all get a taxi to yours. No, no, it's fine. He wants to make sure I get home, okay? I don't mind, babe, but honestly, I can come with you. Oh, don't be silly. Stay and enjoy your night. Just make sure to text him when you're home and tell the girls I said bye. Okay, hun. I'll see you soon. What happened once Jade arrived? She turned up halfway through the night. Really drunk. So I took her home, as I didn't want her to make a scene. She's done it before, and I hate it. So I called a taxi. We had a small argument, but I think it was just because she was drunk. We resolved it the next morning, and we were fine. What was the argument about? Cheers, mate. Good night. Jesus Christ, babe. You're going to wake the neighbours? No, no, I've only had a couple. I'm just tired. Can you help me get my dress, please? I thought you were wearing some shorts underneath that. It's not, I'm not short. Yeah, but you're drunk and there's other guys around. So I can't wear a short dress with other people around. I'm not saying that, am I? It just would have been better if you would have wore some shorts underneath. Right. Will next time. I'm not having a go, so I don't know why you're getting upset. I'm not. You clearly are, look at you. You always do this. I'm telling you my opinion, it's your choice to get upset. I'm sorry. I think it's just the drink. I'm only saying it because I love you. 
I know you do. Come give us a cuddle. You look so beautiful tonight. Give me a kiss. Hey, come on, I'm tired. Babe, I'm not in the mood. Oh, come on. We haven't done anything in days. It's not like you do anything anyway. Yeah, okay. Fine then, we won't. I'm not going to make you if you don't want to, am I? I just want you to make me feel attractive. Is that too much to ask for? Come here then. That sounds so enthusiastic. What do you want me to say? Forget it. I'm going out with the lads. I'm sorry, I was just tired, but I'm awake now. It's too bloody late now, isn't it? Please, babe, I'm sorry. Come here. I love you so much. Looking back, how do you feel you handled the situation? I don't think it's as bad as it seems. It's not like a hitter. I just raised my voice. That's natural when you get angry. How would you feel if your girlfriend didn't want you anymore? It's not about me. But you said this was the turning point of your relationship? Yeah. She was going out a lot more with her friends. She hardly wanted to see me. I don't know what changed. It just came out of nowhere. But I do feel like Sarah had something to do with it. Do you fancy a takeaway? No, I'm on a diet. I don't like to fit into my skinny jeans. I thought you hated skinny jeans. Well, Adam likes me to wear them. Right, okay. So how was the other night when you got home? It was alright, I guess. Me and Adam had another row, but we started it. Why? What happened? It was nothing big. I just had a bit too much to drink. He was mad about the fact I didn't wear shorts under my dress. What's wrong with wearing a dress with no shorts underneath? It's your body, you can wear what you want. No, no, it's, it's just a bit too short, that's all. Are we talking about the same dress? The one that you wore to Turtle Bay? Yeah, but... It was that's, that's not too short at all. And even if it was, that is not his choice on what you wear. I don't know. He just said it was too short, that's all. <sighs> is something going on? I've noticed you've been fighting a lot, and I know you say he's overprotective, but it's not healthy. Babe, things you've told me that he said and done, it's crossing the line. You were so happy at the beginning, and I was so happy once I found out you two were finally together, but it's all changed. You act different, and I don't like it. If something's going on, you can tell me, you know that, right? I feel like everything she said to me that night, I knew it was Sarah's words, not hers. Can you elaborate on that a bit more? How was Sarah? Yeah, she's good. How come you didn't answer my text? Oh, sorry, I just got carried away with conversation. I didn't even notice it. I know you read it. Have you had anything sweet? Yeah, I got a pizza from Domino's. I'd love a pizza. Should have been here then, shouldn't you? Can we not do this? I told you I was going to Sarah's at the start of the week. Yeah, I know. Why are you being so moody for? I'm not being moody. I just don't want to argue. I've had a good night and I just want to spend the rest of it cuddling with you. So what did you talk about? Nothing much, just girly things. What girly things? Nothing, just girly stuff. Like what? How fit the barman is in Turtle Bay? What? <laughs> what barman? You know exactly what I'm talking about. Babe, I really don't. I'll give you one more chance to explain yourself. Don't keep lying to me, I already know. Babe, please. I don't know what you're talking about. Honestly. You and your little group of girls talking about the fit bar staff and who likes who. Have you been through my phone? I knew you were hiding things. I know that's why you go out with Sarah so you can be with the lads and you know she'll keep your secret. I haven't been with any lads. I swear. Please, babe. I knew you were going out with the lads. I knew you were. It's written all over you. It's just our group chat. We were talking about the bar staff and I laughed. Like how you are on nights out. I'm not like that on nights out. I know you are. Don't try and twist this on me when you've been the one who's been getting about. What are you crying for? What are you crying for? It's because it's all true, isn't it? Don't walk away from me! Babe, you're scaring me! Go on then, leave. <laughs> Go cry to your mum or Sarah. Go make it out that I'm the bad guy when it's you. I'm not! Look at you, you're a joke. Babe, please! I'm going out. I saw red. Everything I was thinking just added up and made me worse. The things I said, I wish I could take back. I know I get nasty when I'm angry, but that's why I'm here. She didn't deserve to be treated like that, and I regret it every day. She was the best thing that ever happened to me. 
I loved her to pieces. And that's why I was so overprotective. She was so kind and never noticed when people took advantage of her. And that's why I'm here. That's all the time we have for today, Adam. But you're doing really well and you really are improving. I'll let you know when I can fit you in for an appointment next week. Hey Jake, it's me, Adam. Please don't hang up, just let me explain. I'm sorry for what I've done. I know I can't take it back, but I've been going to counselling and it's really helping. I'm a changed person. I just want to see you and let you know how sorry I am. I don't know, Adam. Please, just give me another chance. I just want to prove to you I'm different. Why won't you let me do that? Please, Jade, I promise. I won't ever treat you like that again. Just let me explain myself. I don't want to speak to you, Adam. The only reason I behaved like I did was because I've been cheated on in the past and it hurt me. I didn't want that to happen again. You, and I got worried that I was going to lose you. And you think that's a justified reason? Of course not. That's why I want to meet and talk. No funny business, I promise. I just want to talk like old times. How we used to be. Alright, Adam. Where do you want to meet? The Costa, where we met. I'll see you in a bit. You alright, mate? Yeah, I just got out of counselling. Honestly, it's the worst. So pointless. A drink tonight? Nah, sorry mate, I can't. I'm meeting Jade. Nah, nah, we're on good terms again. And she won't be leaving me this time. Perspective was written by Chloe Langston, Nicole Scatchell Kelly and Philip Bleary. Jade was played by Nicole Scatchell Kelly, Adam, Philip Bleary, Sarah, Chloe Langston, Rachel, Ruby Shaw, Chloe, Kelsey Knox, and the counsellor was played by Verity Clark. Perspective was directed by Rachel Austin and produced by Lee Worrell for the Arden School of Theatre.